All right, I'm kind of doing this in the garage right now. So this is my 2002 Infiniti i35. I got some uh, 20 inch Nietzsche, Nietzsche rims on here. Very, very nice rims. As you can see, it pops. Uh, I'm gonna paint my calipers yellow. Uh, I'm gonna get new rotors drilled and slotted, waiting on those. Uh, this car is super clean, literally no rust at all. The car is from Georgia. These cars are notorious for rusting out all along here and everywhere else. There is a uh, surface, there's a little bit of surface rust, but a little bit of rust right there, but nothing too crazy. Um, super clean. Like here, look at look at how like metallic key this thing is, and it's like glass too. I, I you can see like the reflection over there perfectly fine. Um, making our way to the interior. Oop. From the interior, we got well, it's a little tore up right here, but not worried about that. But uh, got the beige interior. Got 20% tints over here, 50% on the front windshield. Uh, got some LEDs in here, of course. Got the trunk release, um, making our way in here. Sorry for the beepy noise. Um, you know, we got the nice wood grain accents. Got the infinity sign right here. Uh, a little bit of tear right here. Uh, it's honestly not too concerning for me, uh, considering that age and then the mileage on this car oh, sorry for the mess but i got a i got a pioneer radio uh doubled in head unit uh mixed with that i got two 10 inch subs in the rear uh it's pretty nice i mean got the button for standing up going down back here and then up here Uh, taking a look at the back seat This was bought by an old lady she kept it in the garage so these These rear seats have never Seen anything the, uh, These things are prime right now um, While we're back here, we guess we could take a look at my amp I don't know if that's gonna work for you guys. It's a 2100 watt auto tech amp. Uh, super convenient. Coming back here, we got two 10 inch kickers. Uh, this, these are the comp CVR versions. Um, I got these both wired in uh, parallel at four ohms. And I got a nice zero gauge wire and zero gauge ground. Uh, this is pretty much all you need. Um, but plenty of trunk space. Coming around here. Pop the trunk, or pop the hood. Once we pop the hood, you can see that everything is uh, super clean inside. Uh, the notorious for rusting out down here at these uh, cores of the thing like these right here are notorious let me see if I can these over here are notorious for rusting out and just literally the whole hood latches doesn't even latch the whole hood but these are perfect um, I got some RGB let me see if you can uh, kind of sort of I don't know, but I got some RGB uh, headlights in here for the high beams. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any, just any questions in general, let me know. Shoot me, shoot me a comment down below.
definitely would love to check it out. But uh, other than that, hit me up for the next time video. And uh, I don't know, we'll get more videos to come. But, alright, guys, take it easy.